Good morning, Clark Middle School. It's that time of year again when I start talking to you about choosing electives for next year. I visited Mr. Connor, Mr. K, Mr. Battles, and Ms. Smith's classes last week and yesterday, and still have Mr. Wagler's classes to visit this week. It's one of my favorite things to do, to be able to um, come into your classroom and see you and talk to you in person. One of the things we talk about is how important it is to work on your study habits and mindset so that you can that you instill those good habits that will help you when you're faced with tasks that are hard or not fun or you just don't want to do it. Being able to say, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to because it's important or I need to or I have to is something that will benefit you for the rest of your life. So when you have that ability to try and fail and then try again, you'll learn so much about yourself. When you face something hard and persevere through it, you'll know that you can get through tough times and be better for it. Or maybe you try and fail and realize that although failing can hurt, there is always something to learn from it. And then we know that we have a new day to try again. When you have a moment that you feel like something seems boring, but have the character to do it anyway and give it your best, and maybe you realize that it was actually fun, then you look at new experiences as possibilities. When you face something that seems impossible to do, but tackle it, ask questions, and then excel at it, then you realize you are capable of more than you thought. When you try something new and just barely finish it, you'll know that not everything is going to be smooth sailing and that's okay. Your hard work ethic and self-motivation will open up opportunities for you that you might not have if you avoid hard assignments, blow off studying, not bother to ask any questions, or ignore those who are willing and wanting to help you. It's not too late to work on those study habits and positive mindset or keep up the hard work habits you already have. Reach out to those who can help support your efforts and keep you on track. Today, you're going to explore multiple intelligence to help you know where your strengths are in learning. Howard Gardner, a developmental psychologist, asserts that humans have eight different intelligences and we're born with varying degrees of each. Some are stronger than others. Multiple intelligences are sets of abilities mental skills or talents we have to solve problems or to create products. The eight intelligences are verbal linguistic. So these are some kinds of activities that interest those people who are strong and verbal um, might like or have easy, are easy to do, like playing word games. Um, mathematical, logical, people that are strong in, in that intelligence likes to use numbers and symbols and they're good at organizing. Um, visual spatial are learners who may be reading maps, diagrams, creating those charts and graphs, doodling, um, they're, that they're, that's their strength. Bodily kinesthetic, you like those hands-on lessons, um, working with your hands, making, building, acting, and role playing. If you're strong in a, a, with musical and rhythmic activities, um, you might find singing and writing songs or learning through music and rhythm um, is your strong. Um, strength. Interpersonal. You're good at communicating with others and seeing other viewpoints and working as a team. Intrapersonal means that you're able to question and wonder and think about feelings and set those personal goals. And naturalists um, like to be out in nature and like to study it and protect the environment and think about animals and how they can do what they can do to help the environment. So you might have a, a varying degrees of these um, multiple intelligences. Um, but knowing where your strengths lie can help you use them when you work on tasks that are more difficult. If explaining something verbally is difficult for you, maybe start out by drawing it, which can give you confidence that you understand the concept and then use that confidence to boost those verbal skills. And that's just one example. Today, you're going to explore each of these intelligences and take a survey to see what your personal strengths are. Remember, there's no right score we all learn differently, and anytime we know more about ourselves and how we learn, then we're able to ask questions and seek out learning opportunities that will help us grow. I hope you enjoy learning more about yourself and take what you learn and use it to your advantage and strengthen those study habits and self-motivation as you work toward being the best version of you. Have a great day, CMS.